Hey. Uh, yeah. Hi. Did you know there's a leprechaun in that box? I don't believe that. What are you? I heard him talking. I don't believe that either. In fact, I have no evidence that leprechauns exist. Well, either there's a leprechaun in the box, or there isn't. Right? Right. So it's 50-50. And since I heard him talk, I'm sure there's a leprechaun in there. Either there's a leprechaun in the box or not. But that doesn't mean the odds are 50-50. Of course it does. Actually, it doesn't, but if you offer some evidence Hang on. for... you just told me that if you don't believe he's in there, he'll chain me to a tree after you're dead and stick his shit leg up his ass for 10,000 years. Um, well... But I was asking if you could offer some additional evidence beyond your claim that you heard him. I didn't hear him say that, by the way. Well, you're not listening hard enough. Oh, okay. Nope, I don't hear any... Give it time. You've got to sincerely want to hear him. If he's in there, I'd like to know it. I'll keep listening. Did you hear that? Uh, no. You're either lying, or you're so close-minded that he's not letting you hear him. Not letting me? Leprechauns can choose who can hear them? Of course. He could open his lid, show himself to me, and you'd never see it. You'd think the box was closed the whole time. They're magic. Well, do you have any evidence for this? I mean, I've never seen a leprechaun. I have no reason to think that I even exist. And every time you tell me how to prove it, the test fails. No, you fail. It worked for me. Well, there are other people here who have tried this, and it's failed for them. Yes, but these people heard it. In fact, there are way more people over here, and they would tell you they heard it. I've talked to some of them. They have a slightly different take on this. Some say it's a leprechaun, others say it's a fairy, still others say it's a goblin. They don't all describe the same voice and they apparently have conflicting messages that they claim came from inside the box. Most of them simply said that they knew other people who claimed to know what was in the box. Ah, uh, yes. There's actually a troll in the box with a leprechaun. He sometimes pretends to be the leprechaun, or a fairy, or a goblin, in order to fool those other people. But you'll notice they still heard something. Yes, some say that, but others don't. Well, that trial sometimes blocks the sound so people can't hear it. So how do you know when you hear the leprechaun that you aren't hearing the troll? Don't be absurd. The leprechaun is my friend. He makes sure that only I hear him. But how can you be sure? If you think there's a troll in there too who pretends to be a leprechaun, how can you know? Maybe there's only the troll and he's just fucking with you. Now you're just being thick. Look, there's a box, right? Yep. Now why would there be a box here Unless there was something in it. There must be something in it, right? No, the box could be empty. No, it couldn't. Or else there'd be no reason for the box to exist. Boxes are for holding things. We all know well, that. So you're claiming the box could not possibly be empty? Correct. And you don't see that as a flawed premise? No, and it's confirmed by the fact I heard a leprechaun. Right. How do you hear him? He talks to me telepathically. Oh, so you didn't mean to listen with my ears. You meant to listen with my mind. Your heart. That doesn't listen... Your metaphorical heart. OK, but some people say they can hear him with their ears. He's wrong. He's hearing the troll. But I don't even hear the troll. He's blocking you. OK. How do you know all of this? The leprechaun told me. OK, so you've made appeals to magic, telepathy, leprechauns, trolls and non-empty boxes. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Don't forget the silly guy. Right. And you made threats about things that will happen after I'm dead when there's no evidence that there's any me to experience anything after I'm dead. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. What if you're wrong? He says he's got a pot of gold if you believe. Isn't that a lot to risk? Isn't that worth believing? Look, even if I could make myself believe, which I can't, why would I want to do that? If there's no leprechaun in there, then I've wasted the opportunity to find out what's really in the box. And if he wants me to follow his instructions... Oh, he does. I've written them down for you. Here. Uh, does that say do not eat poo? Yep. Great rule, isn't it? Um, yeah, I guess. What's this about dropping money into the box? He's got needs too. Pots of gold don't grow on trees, you know. 
I thought he was magic. He is, but, well, the one here so he can tell other people what the leprechaun wants. Why doesn't he just tell them? He could, but, well, he will, if they're open to it. Some, like you, are fooled by the troll. Why doesn't he get rid of the troll? It's a mystery, but we're sure he will. Eventually. Anyway, if this isn't true, then I have wasted a lot of time and money on something false, only to avoid a threat that wasn't real. Yeah, but what if you're wrong? Okay, look, I'm done. I do not believe there is a leprechaun in the box. How can you be sure? I'm not, but I just don't believe that there is. How can you say there's no leprechaun in the box? I didn't. I said I don't believe there's one. Same thing. No, it isn't. However, now that I've considered and rejected your claim, don't I'm willing it. to say that I actually do believe do there is no leprechaun in that box. No! You're making an irrational claim. Do you think you know everything? No, I'm not claiming that I'm absolutely certain there's no leprechaun in the box. But I actually believe, to some degree of certainty, that there isn't. Because if there were, I'd expect there to be some sort of evidence to support it. And investigations keep coming up empty. I'll be back with some tools. We're going to open that box. You can't open the box. Why not? You just can't. It's impossible. He's right. Neither of you know it's in the box. You're both equally absurd to assert that you do know. I didn't assert that I'm completely certain. I simply stated what my belief is, and it's based on the evidence or lack thereof. Don't be silly. You're just as dogmatic as he is. I'm not dogmatic about this at all. I'd just like to open the box and find out. The box is impervious. What? How do you know? Um, well, I don't. It just seems impervious. Really? Do you have other impervious things to compare it to? Um, well, no, but I'm sure it is impervious. If you'll forgive me, as we're essentially on the same side in the rejection of his assertion... I don't reject it. I don't reject anything. Do you accept his claim? I don't know. You don't know whether to accept his claim? No, I mean, I don't know if he's right or not. Well, neither do I, but that's not what I asked. The box is impervious. Well, you sound just as dogmatic about our inability to know as he does about his private communications with the leprechaun. Nay, nah, just being rude. Look, I'm going to open this box. Silly atheist. Look, it's not impervious. I've got a hole here. We may eventually be able to investigate this in more detail. You switched boxes. No, this is the box. It's still impervious. Your little hole doesn't give you enough information to support your claim. I can continue to investigate, and so far, there is no evidence to support the theist's claim. You switched boxes. No, I didn't. Then, um, he's hiding. He needs you to believe without seeing him, so he's hiding. That makes no sense. The troll has created an illusionary hole that has provided you with false information about what's in the box. <sighs> that might be possible. I really couldn't say. No, I bet you couldn't. I'm going to spread the good word about the leprechaun. Hmm. I'm not sure he should do that. Oh, shut up. I'm going to get more tools. Hmm. I'm not sure he should do that either. <laughs>